Welcome back to Pirate Warriors 4. I was not really expecting the DLC characters to be uh, out so early in September. I could have sworn it was the end of September, but I am not complaining. So, we got uh, Onigashima Luffy, we got Hybrid Kaido, and we got Yamato. Which, I was slightly disappointed. I know it, there was actually quite a bit of people that were a bit disappointed in the Gear 5th uh, trailer they put out. But, after playing today, he's pretty damn fun. As you can see, I already maxed out with uh, his one tree. And then, these are his two moves for new moves for base. And then I put Conqueror Saki on. But... I'm a bit sad you can't get Gear 4 and, uh, like, Bounce Man and Snake Man, but he got a bunch of his other moves and Gear 5th, which I believe, yeah, is a Sky type. And then out of fucking nowhere, they added this shit, the Soul Map, which lets you boost your characters even farther, but it's for every character can do it now, so... <laughs> As I just finished grinding out in my last videos, uh my other characters, and now there's a whole bunch of new stuff. Get out of here. Oh, sorry. Fucking cat's coming up. There you go, Stevie. Yeah, but, uh, enjoying this DLC pack so far. I really hope with, uh, how they added, like, more difficult or not more difficult, uh, you're able to increase, this, increase the strength of your characters even more. I really hope that, uh, one of the next packs adds in more maps and uh, stuff like that. Also, at the end of this video, I uh, recorded a bit of gameplay of like just showing the new moves and uh, the Gear 5th combo strings in action. So if you want to, you can skip to the end there to watch that. But I wanted to do a full map with the, the new Luffy, starting with that, as he's the first one I maxed out, and I'm close to Yamato being done, so I just need to grind a little bit more of, like, the general tokens that are used for everyone, because you can only get 999, so it can't grind enough to do, like, all the characters at once, but I got pretty close, and I got Luffy maxed in my first go, which I'm pretty happy about. The red rock looks so good. The rock gatling is okay. I like it because we never had that gatling before that I just did in the combo string. We never had that as a super move in this game, which was weird. But we do now. It's the rock version, but it's awesome. I think I go gear fifth up here. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how so far I've only played Luffy so far I haven't touched anyone else I'm waiting until I max him and then my gameplay videos will be my first gameplay of them my recordings obviously after but yeah here we go beat loudly my... oh, it looks so good I'm a little bit sad but it's like it's hard to do that they can't like have all the ground bouncy while you activate gear fifth but they do have one of the combo strings lets you uh like pull up the ground to attack which is nice and his that combo is very nice where you go giant it feels nice and flows good in the combos you also go kind of big there that's his triangle move right there. And then I threw the commonary attack. But, uh, that's his thing from Gear or, uh, Film Red. And then Bajarang Gun. Which looks awesome. I love how it, like, comes through the clouds and the they made it look good. Wrecked Jack. But I really appreciate how they added, like, his triangle move this one. He spins around on the lightning and then launches back. Which, I'm glad, because i think pretty sure that was an anime-only thing. Like, a lot of the lightning attacks that did happen, I'm pretty sure in the manga he only did the one where he throws it. We, and now we have the spinning one, and then we don't have it in-game, but... When he jumps on the top of that cloud and then, like, gathers all the lightning and then spins around and launches it out and then, like, throws attacks out, is awesome. 
Also, his circle thing's pretty satisfying. It's him just, like, running through the sky. But the giant, like, plant thing is pretty satisfying where you turn into a giant. I'm surprised they even put, like, any of that in. They did an actual pretty good job of including, like, most of what Gear 5th can do. Which, and it's, like, it's slight, not janky, but it looks not quite as near as satisfying because it's, like, a lot of this stuff is built into how Pirate Warriors 4 already has its, like, design. Like, a lot of, like, the effects and stuff are kind of how we, uh, already see them in the game and just use to show off Gear 5th. But it looks pretty good. He's really fun to play. Like, his new combo strings in Gear 5th are fun. His new moves look really good. His, uh, base form as we go into right here isn't the best like it's basically just the default one with uh his attacks like get the conquerors hockey off of him which i do like and it looks be it looks better than the default games uh combos i'm a bit sad that like they didn't finish off like you know if you do a full square combo luffy finishes off the red hawk I'm sad they didn't turn that into like a bigger one, like a, almost like a red rock. But I guess they also wanted, like, I see the reason they also didn't include like the Gear 4th transformations in it. Because then they want you a reason to play the other Luffy still. Like the new Kaido also, like, so far what I saw in the trailer, I haven't played him yet or seen him in game, looked awesome. Like, he also had, like, one of his attacks with Flame Torch, which looked awesome. One, one Piece has just been in such a great moment at the... Just, like, everything's become a live action, which I am far less hyped than most people, because the live actions just aren't my thing. I think it's better than far most of them have been. But it's still like a 5 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10 for me. There was a lot of stuff that I just... People say that they can't translate to live action. That, so it got caught in a change around and stuff. But a lot of the little things in One Piece are what matter to me. So I prefer to just watch the source material. Or read the source material technically. But the anime has been great. Like the Gear 5th episodes have been good. Like I liked... Uh, the first one was, like, that was when it was, like, really bouncy and stuff, and, uh, some people complained that they couldn't tell what the hell was going on, but I really liked it. I liked the way Luffy, like, caught, uh, pulled up the ground to catch the attack, and, like, it felt like you're with the flow of the attack and, like, flying around, and it felt great. So I had no problem with that. Then the episode after that looked even better. And then when we got, like, the, all the lightning attacks I was talking about, that looked fucking insane. And the last episode, which I expected going into 1075, to be a pretty trash episode. I can't even lie. Like, I didn't mind the chapter that adapted, but it's... I expected everyone to be complaining, which still some people are complaining about, like, flashback, but... Holy shit, did they, like... They made that chapter so much better in the anime. The way, like, just Orochi and Kaido's, like, takeover of, uh... Wano and just like seeing the entire br like cruelty and like all the hope of waiting for everything and also like the fake out of like how it was like so dark and like they get the bright light and then it's them getting the fucking smile fruits and then it turns them into the fucking laugh and over like their lives being shit and their Ochi just taking pleasure in it they just did it so good and then when Dendro came in at the end it looked fucking amazing with all of the like flowing wishes coming up to the ground and it looked awesome like it was a fantastic episode like it was probably one of my favorites but <coughs> back to the actual gameplay gear fifth is fun i'm really excited to get into the other dlc characters next i think I actually have no idea we'll end up being my favorite. Oh, we actually managed to get an S rank. I wasn't sure. But I really love this, so I'm like, 
expecting good things from the other characters, and you can see like the soul things, which I don't know. Based off this, what I've seen so far, it seems like it might be pretty difficult to actually max characters out. Which, I guess is a good thing and bad thing. At least there's no trophies tied to it or anything, so you don't have to do it. it just lets you get a little bit stronger if you want to. And a reason to grind shit out, I guess. But yeah, my next video will definitely be on Yamato. And that will either be up later tomorrow or not tomorrow sorry later today like in a couple hours after i post this one or it'll end up being getting posted tomorrow and then the kaido video will definitely be tomorrow or the next day but uh it definitely won't be today because i'll need to grind out his uh shit too but Super excited, happy the DLC came basically like not out of nowhere because I obviously knew it was coming in September, but I must have missed the end, like tr uh, dates of the end of that trailer or something because it's all in Japanese basically everywhere. But well, I had uh, I think I recorded here, yeah, the Rock Latling, and then I do the Red Rock. And these are like basically the two main new things of the default. That looks amazing. The Red Rock looks so good. Then flip over and uh, go into the Gear 5. I think I start with the full square combo. Yeah, this is just full squares. Ends with a bazooka. And then that is just the triangle attack. And if you hold it, it builds up like the Conqueror's Spirit or Conqueror's Hockey and then throws it out. And that's one square finished with triangles. That's the giant attack. The next one will be two squares finished out with triangles. Bit of a spinny into like a down hit uh, bazooka type attack. And that was three. That's where you like throw the floor at the end. And then four. Ends up with a spinny like helicopter type attack. And then you turn into like a cloud of smoke almost. Kind of like old comic booky, uh, like fights. That's the lightning attack. That's his uh, circle. His triangle is his move from One Piece Film Red, which was a little bit disappointing. It's not quite as nice as uh, some of his other things. And then this is his Bajrang gun, which also looks amazing. That's his taunt, which is pretty good. It's basically when he's just waiting around for, uh, after he knocks the shit out of Kaido. But, uh, that'll be all. Thanks for watching.